Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we're doing another Kaladesh Draft League. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe and like the videos. And I'm on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Inez27. Inventor's Fair is the rare. Let's make sure we get this preview pane up. All right, so we have the Inventor's Fair, which I'm not going to first pick. I think we're probably just looking at Arborback Stomper. This card's very good, very strong. I would take it over a removal spell. It's just very, very swingy, five drop. Um, yeah, and I think that is really only the worthwhile first card here. So let's take the Stomper, be happy about it. Move on to pick number two. Oh my God, we're going to get Stompy. Let's take another one, huh? Okay, Stomper number two. And once again, really nothing else in this pack inspiring confidence in me uh that's even like close to stomper i've played a lot of bomad courier said it before but this card is much better than it reads it's played very well for me yeah and the cl next closest thing is probably an artisan a peafowl and a pillar bug so not that impressive okay so our options here. We have Filigree Familiar, which I like. We have Prophetic Prism. We could just play Life Gain Creature Dot Deck. <laughs> I don't mind it. This isn't a bad opportunity to take a Prism, but do I like the Familiar more? I, I really do like this card. Familiar is very good. I feel like Familiar is probably better than Prism. Obviously, it's not a beatdown card, but... No one is ever happy trading with a Filigree Familiar, as they shouldn't be. So I feel like Familiar is the pick over the Prism here. They both end up eventually drawing you a card. Filigree Familiar doesn't fix your mana, but, you know, two life in a pinch can be really important. So we're going to take Familiar. I, I, th I feel like it just does more than Prism does. Although, admittedly, I never get to play Prism. Whenever I take it, though, the deck never pans out for it. All right, so we could take the Sage. Green definitely has pretty extensive uh, energy plan, so I don't mind that. And it cuts the last green card from here. I'm okay with that. There's also a Malfunction, which is a good card. But I think I'm just going to take the Sage. Sage is fine. If we don't end up with an energy plan, it's not so fine, but... Uh, if we do, it's a it's a really nice card to have. So I'm gonna take Sage, over Malfunction. We'll stick to green, cut as many as much green early as we can. Ooh, well, I do love Voltaic Brawler. I imagine Botanical Sanctum is worth nothing, pennies, if you will. My guess is under a ticket. Just gonna take a look. I keep spelling Botanical wrong. In here we go. Under a ticket, 95 cents. Close, though. All right, we'll take the Brawler. Uh, Janjeet Sentry is a pretty good card, too. And I'm not a huge fan of this puzzle knot, but it's playable. We'll take the Brawler. So definitely incentivized to go uh, red-green if I can. So there's an Eddie Trail Hawk in here, which does have some synergy with Sage as well. We have some Goggles, though no Artificers. And we have a Puzzle Knot, which gives more energy. Could be useful. Also more Life Gain. Be Life Gain dot deck. Maybe we'll be able to make that uh, rare work, right? That kills your opponent if you've got like a million life. Um... I feel like just taking the goggles is probably fine. There's certainly artificers in all colors, I think, right? I'm not sure on that, actually, but we'll take the goggles. Okay, so there's a motorist, but that kind of strays away from this awesome green shell that we have. So I'm a little more okay with taking Cobra. I've found this card to be very good. Just this format is... I've just... I seem to have the most success when you just have a super low curve because it's such an aggressive format. It really is a very swingy format. When you have common, uh, excuse me, commons that 
three mana three power basically that can deal four damage you've got a lot of two mana three power creatures you've got renegade freighter three mana five four trampler it's just Voltaic Brawler, two mana, four power Trampler. It's it's just the efficiency alone makes this format so unforgiving if you don't play stuff early. So a late shield guard, which is an actual good card. But we're we're I mean I definitely want to be in red, right? Because of Brawler. So even though that's the only card, I, I could I'm fine taking Giant here. It's very good. It's probably the best card remaining here. Although, I mean, there's an argument for Shield Guard being good, too. But we'll, we'll take the Giant, even though it's another 5-drop. So, Cathartic Reunion versus Puzzle Knot. Puzzle Knot can definitely be useful in certain matchups. So, I kind of feel like taking it here over Reunion. All right. Creeping Mold, at least a good sideboard card, and... Probably more useful than hijack. You can put it in the main deck for now, I guess. All right, well, get a hijack anyway. Take the glass blower's puzzle knot, I guess. Take the wood weaver's puzzle knot. Take the second to last pick green card and the land. Okay. So I probably don't want to play the hijack. This is already on the fence. Probably don't want to play the Creeping Mold. Probably don't want to play this Puzzle Knot. Okay, so Thriving Rhino has synergy with our Sage and Brawler. It's just a good beater. We also have the Pyro Helix, though. Currently, our removal is non-existent, so I think I'm going to go Pyro Helix. I like this card more than most people, I feel like, still. And it's just a useful card. You can kill your opponent with it. You can kill multiple creatures sometimes with it. Otherwise, it's just a much-needed uh, burn spell for most decks. And it's efficiently costed. So uh, it's close between the Rhino and the Pyro Helix. But I'm going to opt towards the removal spell just because I don't have any. There's also a Decoction module in here, which is good for energy decks. And a Cobra, which would be another card I would play as well. But we'll, we'll take the Pyro Helix. Okay, well, Judge is very good. There's a Prism and a Cobra in here, but it's still early enough where we can make this Judge work. Sadly, we don't have anything that works with it yet, but it's an Artificer, so I guess it works with our Goggles, right? It's just, it's a powerful card in the right deck, and this could potentially be the right deck. Hmm. It's a bit of a miss. So we can take the Apprentice. It's an Artificer, so it works with Goggles. We do have a fair amount of uh, artifacts, I guess, right? So, yeah. Can be a Curd Ape for our deck. There's really not much else. All right. Ooh, well, Cub. There's a huge pickup. Yeah, Cub is fantastic. So we'll take that over the Cobra and the Outrider. Really powerful card. Really happy to get that, especially now that we at least have some judge synergy, right? Judge! Oh, uh, let's see. Another Inventor's Fair. Well, I mean, otherwise I'm taking, like, guess larger than life. I really don't like larger than life that much. I'm going to take the fair. Maybe we'll end up with some bomb artifact that will justify me wanting to play this. Currently, we're still fairly low on artifacts but there's just nothing in this pack i i want so we'll take the inventor's fair okay you know deadlock trap is not a bad card and we do have some energy i might just want this appetite though it's certainly main deckable we're removal light so being able to deal with Artifacts and enchantments is nice. This is a rare. You don't get to do it too often. And, I mean, we do have some energy generation already. Not a ton, but... I could see myself playing the, the trap. I remember playing against it once and being actually pretty impressed. I 
can protect you for a couple turns. I think we'll we'll give it a try. It's really good with the cub. We'll see. I'll give it a try. All right. So we can take appetite. Kind of just want another cobra though. Like I said, having as many two drops as possible is is nice. Even though appetite is fairly well, it's good removal. But the cobras are great. I just like them a lot. All right, another sage. Otherwise, a quicksmith genius. But I think with this trap now, genius would be fine, actually. And it's an artificer. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven's not bad. Not bad. It's nice to have some draw effects. All right, I guess I'll take the genius. All right, well, I'm certainly happy getting a ton of these Cobras. They're, they're very good. So what does our deck need? I mean, I'd like a little more synergy, whether it be energy or plus one, plus one counter related stuff. But so far, I mean, we have a great curve. Uh, we need a little bit more removal. Deadlock Trap still looks fine in here, though. All right, we can take the Gremlins now and actually be fairly happy about it. We're kind of doing a bit of everything in this deck right now. Which usually isn't great. We'd like to lock it down a little bit more. But, I mean, all the cards we have are certainly powerful. So, no concerns on that front. I guess I'll take a sequestered stash. Um, all right. So, we've already basically got a deck, and we have a pack, so we can figure out from here what we want to do. No Fabricate. Couple kind of underpowered cards in our deck, like the two Puzzle Knots. But, I mean, Woodweavers does some things for... We'll let somebody have that. The Goggles are actually really good with the Cobra. 3-3 three, three Death Toucher. It's pretty nice. Ooh, well, Multiform Wonder is a really nice card. So we're going to take that, especially given that I just lost against this card. But, uh, yeah, we can easily play that over one of these Wayward Giants. Or maybe we play 5-5 five, five drops, top out at 5. It's probably okay. Uh, I think next would probably be Pima Outrider or Artist. Edgecrafter is good, definitely. It's a it's a strong card. I've been kind of on this top out at five kick though. Uh, another Pyro Helix. There's a Seed Sculptor. Mm. I think we're gonna take the removal. Our deck needs more. We basically have, what, a Pyrohelix and a Deadlock Trap. That is very, very removal light at the moment. Uh, so I guess Fair can find the Wonder now. It's not bad. I don't know if it's worth it necessarily, but Sequestered Stash, I guess, can do something too. Well, I don't know. I'd probably rather do the Fair. But we'll take the Pyrohelix here. Another Pyrohelix. We've got a Trumpeter. Doorbuster. A lot of good cards in here. Just a lot. I think I'm still just going to go deep on Pyrohelix and not be upset about it. So, fair might happen. Um, I think all these... You can probably just cut a giant here. Take a Pyrohelix. Another Filigree Familiar. A Spontaneous Artist. A Dragster. All these cards are fine. So Filigree Familiar's not a great game ender. Dragster kind of is. There's a lot of value with this Familiar, though. I'm trying to think what our late game plan is. How do we kill our opponents? Well, Wonder can do it. Stompers can do it. Giant can do it. We're kind of good for a long game, but the problem with the long game for us is we don't have a lot of removal. So 
Dealing with some bombs will be difficult. I really don't mind playing these filigree familiars, though. They are good at buying time. And I guess our death touchers can lock down ground guys. So basically, it's just flying that we're a little worried about. I'm going to take this familiar. This card is just good. All right, so we can take the sky gate, but I think we need the sparks now. That's just a really nice pickup for us in general. Okay. Sparks it is. So another Gremlins, there's Grubs, there's Charger. Charger's a good game ender. We're kind of good on five drops already. And Wonder is a good game ender too. How many, I feel like we have enough artifacts where this Gremlins could shine, but the Thriving Grubs are good for us too. Because of Deadlock Trap and Cub, Brawler. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a lot of artifacts for gremlins. I probably still want to opt towards the two drop, though. I like that grubs are just consistent. Two mana, attack for three. I mean, you really can't ask for much more at common. So we're going to take it over the... Even though I like Charger, we've got enough end game. We're going to focus on our early game. Okay, so Gorger in this deck might be okay. Although, how many cards do we have total that give us energy? We only have one... This sort of does, but not when you need it to. So two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's not bad. I guess I'm not going to play a Wild Wanderer anyway, so we can consider it. Okay, the Artist. There's a Construct and an Appetite. Uh, all of these are good. I think I want the Artist. It works with our Gorger, too. Might find a way to make that work. Could just take the appetite now. I do have a creeping mold, but I suppose we have enough creatures. Maybe we don't need the artist. Artist is kind of cool with our five drops, though, too. I'm going to take the appetite. I, I guess it's nice picking one of these up. All right, we'll take the sky gate now. Actually, no, I want the artist. We want more energy. So gear per guide might actually be better than Brazen Scourge. Less color intensive. We need green more than red in this deck, I think. And gear per guide's ability can actually be useful on certain board states. Brazen Scourge does have haste, which is cool, but I'm going to take the guide, I think. Getting the doorbuster back is really nice. That card is strong. All these artists back, too. This is... Nice rewards. Wow. Late gremlins. Like, this deck looks nice now. We have a ton of cuts to make. I actually think Apprentice ended up looking like a bomb in this deck. Just because we have a, a good amount of artifacts. But I think we're going to end up cutting some of these artifacts, so I'll have to sort of reevaluate. But I actually like how Deadlock Trap looks in here, too. Hmm. So, I mean, the Inventor's Fair is something I can consider because it can find Wonder and, I guess, Deadlock Trap, but those don't seem like worth playing this. Where am I at on uh, Artifact Count currently? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so ten. How many things do we have that interact with Gorger? We have one... Like I said, this doesn't really do it because you have to deal combat damage. So I'm not going to count that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things. It's a little bit low. How many things do we have that actually work with Armorcraft Judge? Pretty much nothing, right? One, two... Two cards in our deck. That's really not much. Well, I think Reunion's got to go. Goggles are okay in here, right? They work with Prentice, just in terms of being able to auto-equip. I can get off the Gremlins plan, too. I probably don't need them. Because, I, like I said, I think we're going to end up cutting some 
Oh, wait, did I forget to count the Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot for Gorger, too? And the Deadlock Trap? So maybe there is a couple more cards. Maybe that's up to nine. Okay, maybe Gorger's okay, then, for that. I'll Just paying four mana for a 2-2 two -two is pretty bad. I kind of don't like it. So I think the Puzzle Knot's going to go main deck. I could get rid of the Woodweavers one, too. Because I think the Gorger's going to go. I think Goggles probably need to go, too. I don't know if I even like the Woodweavers. I think we're doing better things without it. And like I said, I might just be off of the Salvating Gremlins plan. So if I cut all of these, where does that leave me? Couple more cuts if I want to run 16. Which means I could probably just cut a Wayward Giant. Go back to... I could make this work at 16. Our curve is quite low. Uh, where's our artifact count now, though? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's probably still enough to justify the Apprentice and be okay with it. So, I probably just want to cut a creature here, because we have so many. Um, I wish Judge was a lot better in here. It's, it's not going to be very good if we have two creatures total. Otherwise, it's kind of just a hill giant in the deck. But there might be just something weaker to cut. Like, 4 mana 3-3, three, three, draw 1 card is still pretty good. Definitely. I just don't really like Judge all that much in this deck. Hmm. I like a Apprentice into Cobra is a pretty powerful turn progression, though. But hmm. we only have seven artifacts for Quicksmith Genius, but maybe Genius is actually better than Guide. That way, we have Genius and Judge as like two ways to actually get a little bit of card quality increase. You know, in cases of flood. Yeah, there's an argument there. Curve is really nice. And three five drops is fine. Hmm. One more cut. I like the familiars. Because they buy time. They're just good value. We don't have much in terms of evasion, I admit. So, what's our best key to victory I guess the stompers and the wonder the cub can cub just steals games brawler can steal some games so we do have some cheap ways to just beat down fast late game plans can get us but we've got the cobra for death touch so we can at least lock down ground guys I guess flyers can get us we've got some removal but Flyers could get us. Maybe I don't need the apprentice. But we're, I mean, we're likely pretty aggress aggressive, so maybe we just want it. Okay, so what do I cut then? I'm still kind of tempted to cut the judge. two cards in our deck that actually could net us value. Everything else doesn't work, right? Yeah, I think we're cutting Judge. I like the card, but I think we're more on this energy plan for, like, Deadlock Trap, get some hastiness. We'd rather be hasty than maybe draw a card. 
especially like artist into stomper give it haste that's really good or even giving the wonder haste haste flying lifelink pump that's pretty brutal too Hmm. Okay. All right. So this is how we're going to run it. We have a couple double green. I think we're probably just going to do an even split because these require green mana too. Okay. Even split. They agree. We're not going to run the Inventor's Fair. Doesn't seem worth it to find a Wonder or a Deadlock Trap or whatever. But yeah. Red-green beats. We'll run it like this. We'll see round one.